Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to solve problems with negative numbers. Now, we're going to talk about the four operations involving negative numbers, and you'll kind of see exactly how they're handled, so let's get right to it. Now, first we're going to address the addition of negative numbers when you have negative 6 plus negative 7. Now, using a number line really, really helps because it kind of gives you an idea as to where some a number is going. Now, you're start, starting off with negative 6, and you, when you're adding a negative number, to another negative number, it tells you that the number is going to continue on the negative path. So in this case, adding a negative 7 means it's going to go further uh, negative 7 more places. So the idea here is going, to keep, is going to keep on going in this direction. So what that means here is you're going to add, you're going to keep the negative sign, but then you're going to add the 6 and the 7 and you're going to have 13. So negative 6 plus negative 7 is going to be negative 13. Now when you're subtracting, let's just say you have negative 3 minus a negative 5, what that tells you here is if you're, when you're subtracting a negative number, it forces you to switch course, if you will. You're going in the other direction. So if you have negative 3, subtracting a negative 5 means you're going to go in the opposite direction five places, which is why two negatives make a plus. So that means you're going to go to the right five places. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And so what you're doing always when you're subtracting two negative numbers after you do the sign consolidation you take the sign of the larger number, in this case, because the 5 is larger and it's positive, it's a plus, and then you subtract the smaller from the larger. So 3 subtracted from 5 is going to be 2. So that's why the result is positive 2, which no one really writes the positive in front. Now, when it comes to multiplication, if you have negative 1 times negative 6, it's kind of the same idea as subtraction, because when you have a negative number times a negative number, a second negative switches direction to the right. So if you're starting off with negative 1, negative 6 forces you to go in the opposite direction. So that's why negative times a negative is going to be positive. And so, so 1 times 6 is going to be 6. And similar logic occurs in division. If you have negative 9 divided by negative 3, negative and a negative is going to give you a positive. So negative 9 divided by negative 3 is really going to be positive 3. So Depending on what scenario it is, you just have to look out for double negatives and then switch signs when necessary. So, I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how to solve problems with negative numbers.